holy crap, I must have left you going here all night. Well, how did you sleep? Not too bad. Not too, uh, not too cold, not very comfy in here, but anyways. How's she going today, Tubes? Doing pretty good here. And today, we're gonna do some painting. Now, I'm gonna actually probably have to put these down here because when I turn my big fan on, when I turn my big fan on, it's gonna draw out and I don't really want it to have to go past the camera. So, we'll put these down about here somewhere. We're gonna start and do the orange first here. Um, kind of as much as I can. Now the only thing I don't wanna do black is the very top, and then maybe the tops of these uh, angles. So, should work good. I'm gonna open the door a little bit here. So we get a bit of air sucking through. Turn on the fan, and let's get painting. All right, I'm gonna get as much as I can, let her dry, flip it, do as much as I can. Um,
Okay, I went to uh, one ramp on the thing. It just makes it a little, little bit easier to maneuver them and stuff. So I'm just working on kind of the second-ish coat here. This stuff doesn't really cover too well. Many coats, I guess, eh? Let them skin up a bit and give them another one. see I got my uh, beaver dam ripping apart clothes on. I got uh, a little bit deeper than I should have. I'm a little damp up here but it's okay. She'll dry. Got my uh, sweet rubber gloves on and my hands didn't even well a little wet but not bad. I uh, put those underneath just in case it was cold and crappy but hot and sweaty. So the opposite. But anyways that worked out pretty good. The uh, trapper guy was in today and I said to him, you still got traps out there? And uh, he's like, no, I haven't had traps in there for about a week. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm like, well, maybe I'll go and tear out the dam. So I actually tore out all four dams. Started at um, the one just across the road that you've seen. Went to the next one down and then the next one down. That was the real big one, the last one. And then there's one up right across from her house and I tore all it. So she's all flowing open now. So. Next couple of days, I'll go down and check her again, and if they built her again, well, I guess he's gonna have to do some more trapping. So, that was a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know if you can sort of tell, but it's like cold outside, but I'm like sweating like crazy. Plus, it's one of those foggy, crappy, damp, crappy days, but anyways. We got him tore out, and everything's flowing really awesome now, so um, what my plan was, was to get it drained out and not really dried up, but a little less muddy, so I can actually maybe get down there with the backhoe and then tear it right out. <sighs> At least that one. I don't think I couldn't get to the other ones, but, uh, uh, meh, meh, I don't know. We'll figure something out. But anyway, so I'm going to get changed, get this crap off, and uh, we'll get, uh, I think we're ready for some black and sand. Well, here's what this stuff looks like. It's uh, kind of got some sparklies and stuff in it. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's some kind of like abrasive -y stuff. Maybe it's gold. Wow, that's awesome, eh? Macro City. Can it get any better than that? No, that's it. Haha, <laughs> sweet! So yeah, I don't know whether I want to um, mix paint with this stuff and then paint that on. I don't know how well that would work. I guess I could mix it, and then I could also sprinkle some on top. I gotta find a little container, though. Hmm. Well, I might as well use the containers that come with the spray paint cans. Shaking this stuff a little bit. I'm gonna dump her in there, and then probably, I don't know, maybe put one of those capfuls in. That's pretty good thick paint. That's going to take a minute. That's for sure. Well, I'll let her drain in there and uh, I'll get some stir stick of some sort. We'll put some in and then mix her in. And, you know, I don't want to make it like a paste. I still want it to be paintable. So I got to kind of watch how much I put on, I think. Okay, I found a little paintbrush. That'll work for stirring, not for painting. Uh, okay, so let's just dump in some of this. Oh, she tainted now. Well, 
I think it all went to the bottom. Well, put a little more in. Might work. It might have just all gone to the bottom. Sounds like it's there. Sounds kind of gritty. All right, let's start down here. Yeah, that's working pretty good. Now, by no means am I any kind of an artist, so don't expect it to look like a frickin' Picasso, because it's not gonna look like a Picasso. It's gonna look like a set of ramps that I want to drive my tractor thingy up. Probably don't need this. Um, this step on here, but if you're going up when it's muddy or if it's snowy, frozen, I know, uh, well, not steel, but I know steel on steel is never good when it's snowy. <laughs> when I used to work at the rental in town here, people would rent the big two drum walk behind rollers, and that was what they were it was a walk behind roller. So you had to load them up. Well, actually, we, we used ramps kind of like my other ones I had there, if you remember, that we loaded this thing with. We used ramps like that. They're actually a scaffolding plank. Feels like I almost need to stir this up again. Uh, they were like a scaffolding plank. And uh, they go up about halfway and then shh down. So, but I did notice, and I'll get a better shot of it, not today, but after the paint's good and dried. When we try these again, how well the tracks kind of into the grooves, that's exactly what I wanted it to do and it worked really well. I couldn't really have seen that until I saw the video, so... That worked fantastic! Oh, I think that went over the edge a bit. My bad. Now, I don't know if you guys are still in the shot or not here. Move you a bit. I was going to roll it with a roller on this, but I'm like, no, I can't put on a nice good layer then. This might wear off, but you know, that's going to be an awful lot of driving, you know, up and down. Okay, there's one rung done. I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit on the top, I think two here.
watch, it is actually gold. Oh crap, we packaged the wrong stuff. That was the super concentrated mix stuff from the gold. The gold mining. I'd have uh, probably $50,000 ramps here then. Sweet! flow coming out. Wow, that stuff soaked in pretty good. So whatever is not going to stick should just fall off. So Okay, now I guess I'll work on these guys. Uh, do a couple here, but I won't make you sit through the whole thing because I know it's probably going to be kind of crappy and boring. So we'll do a couple of few here. No Picasso, I was never good at drawing in school. Coloring, you know, keeping within the lines, can never do that, right? Um, drawing a picture, I'm pretty good at stick people. Huh. But I just don't have that steadiness in my hand. Whereas my sisters are amazing what they can draw. I didn't get that. That's why I'm not very good freehanded with the uh, plasma cutter. I could do it, but I can't do it like nice looking, I guess you would say. Okay, I'm going to do the rest here. I have enough paint. I kind of like to get one ring, one thing done per, you know, thing, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'll show you when we're all done here. Okay, we're sprinkling some pepper on these guys. There's very little actually falling off. Do it while it's nice and wet too, right? Oh, these are going to be awesome, grippy. We still had a little bit of paint left too, which is good. Make sure you can still see here. Well, it's kind of glary, I know. Putting this on, it might take a little longer to dry too, I don't know. Maybe this is an anti-drying stuff that won't dry at all. Definitely good paint for this though. She's sticking good. I'm wondering if I should do this thing here too, maybe. Well, I'll get this other rail done here and then I'll see how much paint I got left.
All right, there we go. We are coded, and I will be the first one to admit that my painting skills do suck. So you don't need to tell me because I know. <laughs> but that's okay because it really doesn't matter because I don't think the tractor will care about it uh, going up or down. So yeah, I did both of these guys too and then sprinkled some on top and it looks pretty good and stuff. So um, I guess, you know, when worse comes to worse, if I really don't like the paint job, I could just spray over it with some orange again and it'll probably wear off real quick. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I kind of, if I spray over that, it's going to cover my grid again, and then I'll be kind of screwed again, right? But maybe one light coat of orange. I don't know. It would probably take a lot to cover the black now, but uh, yeah, I don't really care too much about this. Um, should have probably done them all black, and then you wouldn't even have noticed, but um, you know, which I could too. I could spray some sh into there, but uh, eh, I think I think they'll work overall. Okay, well, I've left these sitting here pretty much all day. It is now 4.23. And uh, I tried fixing it a little bit and spraying a bit, but <laughs> I don't, I'm not an artist, so it's just getting worse and worse here <laughs> as I go. But uh, these are still pretty wet. Uh, I think that with that sand in there, it's going to take a little, bit, a little while to dry, so we'll have to just uh, leave them in here. You know, it's still like wet, so. Uh, we'll just leave them in, let them dry for a couple of days here anyways, and uh, check back in a couple of days. But that should uh, dry up to be some pretty good grippies, I think. Hopefully, it will probably won't last long. It'll probably get wore off real quick anyways. But it looks good here. Sort of kind of ish-ish, you know, if, I, if you know what I mean. But uh, anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of work maybe just to kill a little more time on these guys here. And uh, do some grinding and smoothing kind of sort of thing try to get them kind of sort of roughly the same I hope these are gonna work I guess they should but um, we'll have to uh, get our bench grinder going here and it's not the fastest bench grinder so uh, that and I was looking at some of these things I have in stock here that's one inch and on the bucket on the one side it's got a piece about that big I think on the side and then they drill through the two of them let's go have a look here oh it's not very dark or it's not very bright out here um uh, yeah on this side and then they run uh no it is on the other side crap i don't know if i want to see them or not kind of kind of dark yeah i can't quite get in there but anyways there's a couple of those little things there that they put that quick pin, snappy pin thing through. So I'll have to maybe weld a couple of those on whenever, you know, that'll be pretty much the last step. Long way to go yet, but uh, anyways. So a couple of those pieces. One there, one there kind of thing. Cut about, I don't know, they're not very big, just big enough to hold one of those snap pins. So that's good. So I'll do a bit of grinding I guess on these and try to get them somewhat smoother and um, I guess we can figure out kind of what we're going to do bucket wise uh, soon it won't be today though
I pretty much got them equal. They might need a little more refining yet. Now the bottom's not the same because it was the hunk of steel I had that I was trying to kind of save a little bit instead of having to break open a new area in it. But uh, that shouldn't hopefully so much matter um, because this this part here oops, that was hot. I couldn't really grind too much more. It was starting to get hot in my gloves. So each one of these should be okay. They're actually probably going to need a little bit more cut off um, for the bar thing that goes through on the top of the bucket and the other one on the bottom is a lot bigger more and more bigger anyway so that should work I think pretty good man this thing runs forever still going <laughs> anyways um, yeah I couldn't uh, sort of handle these too much anymore they were getting pretty hot so um, pretty warm felt nice in my hands, but whew. so what I'm gonna have to probably do now is I gotta get them both drilled equally the same um, for the the one inch hole. I don't have the one inch bit yet, but these will need to get drilled, 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 drilled. So what I gotta do is put them together. Hi. And roughly where I'm thinking they're gonna sit. Clamp them together so they don't move. Either that or just put a couple little tack welds maybe and I can grind those off again and then smooth them off. So when I drill it drills through through both of them and they're both the same. That won't be today though because these have got a coolness because they're wicked hot. Plus I don't have a drill bit. Anyways I guess that's about her for today. Um, just gotta make sure that this is all closed. Lights off. We're good. Uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm no artist. I understand that. Those didn't come out kind of how they should have, but that's the way she's gonna work, I guess. I don't think, like I say, this guy won't care. This guy here, he won't care too much, so if he don't care, I don't really care, obviously. <laughs> As long as they hold me up and don't slip and fall and crash and roll on top of me. That's sort of the idea. I think they're going to work pretty good though. But uh, within no time they're all going to be scratched and dinged up and crappy looking anyway. So there's no point in me really, you know, putting a Porsche finish on it kind of thing, right? Because that's just crazy, crazy talk. But anyways, that's it for today. As you can see, she's starting to get dark already <laughs> doesn't take long and uh, I'm gonna hit her out just gotta make sure this door is locked somewhere I got a key that's this door get that one yep good <clears throat> secured good all right, so one thing if you guys could do for me, my daughter started up a little bit of a YouTube channel. She'd like you to go check it out if you could and maybe subscribe to her. That'd be awesome. I'll put the link in the bottom to that. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot on there right now, but uh, she gets encouraged enough. I'm sure she'll put more content on there for you. So I know there's a bit of stuff from when we did the rental, she uh, was recording with her iPad. That's pretty much what she uses her iPad. So the quality isn't super awesome, but it's not bad for an iPad that's four years old or whatever it is, five years old now. So, oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. The river is flowing a little more better. It's kind of dark now, I know. But uh, I'm going to go down the next couple of days there too. Maybe I'll take you with me and we'll have a look at the, uh, the dams, the damn dams. <laughs> Uh, should be able to actually go across the river here right now. And uh, maybe see if it's come down a bit. So I got them all ripped open today and if there's still beavers beavering down there somewhere, they'll be all fixed by tonight or by tomorrow. <laughs> Seems to be the way they work, but... Anywho, uh, yeah, so if you don't mind checking her channel out, give her a sub. She's just super really new at it, so, you know, just, uh encourage her a little bit and stuff and uh, 
uh, get her get her some more subs and she'll be like super tickled pink she'll just love that so uh, what a crappy day it's been like this out here all day just bleh. you know it's actually cleared a bit now it was all foggy and crappy all day out here it sucked really sucked but anyway so we're just making our way down here sort of kind of hard to tell and I'm not walking in there with just my boots on yeah I can't show you too much of that I think it has come down a bit though this was kind of all flooded all up through here too but now it's kind of more where that river channel should be and good but anyways uh, check her channel out if you don't mind and uh, check out Stinky's too I'll put his link on the bottom too there Dilly that's his channel and uh, we'll go from there. So you just, I think, come home in the car here. So I'm going to super embarrass the crap out of her. Let's see if she'll say anything. She's super shy, right? So, but anyways. Hi, Peanut! You're wet. Yeah. Soaked. So, what do you want to say to promote your channel? <laughs> we're, we're promoting your channel. What do you want to say? What's your, what's your channel called? How do they get to it? Well, I'll put a link in the description for that. What's on your channel that they could watch? Videos. Videos of? Stuff. Videos of stuff. Well, there you go. <laughs> See, shy, I told you. <laughs> but anyways, I guess, uh, hitting her home. Make sure that's locked. And we're good. So, I guess I better check the mailbox and uh, see if there's anybody that loves me today. I know the electricity guy will probably love me and the phone guy will love me and the cable TV guy, internet guy will love me and... <laughs> uh. Holy crap! There's a pile of stuff here. Don't know if it's all for me though, probably not. Anyways, let me rifle through this, see if there's anything good. Oh, there is something good. Let's head her inside and rip her open. Oh, it's the funniest thing ever. I got a recall notice today for the car, the old black Buick. Unindented ignition key rotation. Never had a problem with that. Um, problem with the lights, which I got a recall for that. Never did that because the car was junk by then. And uh, transmission. I wish they'd do a recall for the transmission. I'd sure send her in then. Maybe I'd get a free tranny and a... A car back and then I freaking sell the crap out of her but anyways uh, yeah that doesn't help me much does it alrighty we got a letter and a little package from a feller by the name of Alex Alex T West and I'm not gonna show your whole address from Ohio OH I think that's Ohio oh, I don't know I failed geography no I didn't actually <laughs> I think OH is Ohio anyways um Let's have a read of the letter here. It says, Dear Bill, sorry about my handwriting. It's okay, but I am not much better. <laughs> and spelling, because I am not the best. Well, you and I are in the same boat, so no worries. Uh, he said it would make my day if you showed this in a video. And also, I have a couple of requests. Oh, okay. Could you do some truck driving on GTA 5? Uh, there is trucks. But it's funny because all the trailers have a lock on them and there's hardly any trailers you can use which is really sort of weird I've found there's the gas truck or the gas trailer gas tanker trailer you can use that one and I th think there was one other I've used and that was like it I was like what the heck all these trailers are here like flatbeds and bigger ones and stuff you know the big box trailers and they all got these stupid locks in the front you can't hook onto them so the only other thing you can use is um, some uh, the tow trucks they're kind of cool because you can hook up to anything and drag them away so but anyways uh, what are we here um, GTA 5 also could you write me back he says he put a letter in I did uh, envelope in there I did get that um, you write me back. I put my address on an envelope inside. Uh, since you like John Deere, I enclosed a game that I thought you would like. Since I couldn't figure out the correct buttons. Oh, John Deere. American Builder Deluxe. I've never even heard of that. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know if my, uh... Oh, look at the 
the serial thingy number here too. Two one one two nine point five. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if my um, uh, video card is compatible with it. My NVIDIA card, GTA 4, will absolutely not run on my new computer. I have no idea why. It doesn't even barely load it, so I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll, we'll give it a shot here and see, see if it'll work. Um, do, 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 like, um, a tutorial vid would be awesome. He says, I also included, enclosed a cool, and he had watched Dewey for Dylan. Dylan! Dylan! Can't hear me. Um, I love your videos, and I hope you'll keep making more. Your fan, Alex. P.S. Please don't show the address in the vid. I didn't, bud. Uh, P.P.S. Put a letter from Alex in the name of the video so I can find it. I shall do that. So there's the little watch he sent Dylan. It's, I think, got a, maybe a compartment -y thingy under there, but I couldn't figure out how to open it. We'll have to leave it for Dilly, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, buddy. That is sweet. I'll see if he's in here. Hang on a sec. Oh, Dilly said he wasn't maybe feeling too well, so he's upstairs laying in bed, and I guess with his iPad. His iPod, so anyways, that's a cool little package. Thanks, buddy. And I'll try to get something back to you. I'm really horrible at mailing people back, but anyways, um, I am going to maybe do up some more stickers here eventually. Now, this one's... A little big that's them there I'm gonna to try to make some that are a little smaller and because uh, these take up a lot of real estate kind of thing when people are sticking those to something right so, so I have to fire up my old computer here try to get them going again and the plotter and stuff poor thing yeah but anyways uh, let me just move this stuff to the side I got something else really cool to show you I ordered this in the mail the other day now you guys know I have an old uh, couple of old engines down in the garage there, right? Well, what do you think's in here? This, i seen this and I'm like, I need one of these. It was so freaking cool. And this is exactly the way it came. This actually come from England like this. Uh, there's the Royal Mail to William Langridge. So I forgot about it. And I'm like, what the heck is this thing? It's like some piece of styrofoam. Why would I have someone send me styrofoam? I open it up. I don't even know if I'm going to use this thing because it is so cool. Okay, so there is a Wolseley logo. Now I have a Wolseley logo over here that I made a while back. It's got no red in it though, but then I got the Wolseley. That's hard to show you. Let me take this over. <laughs> She's a little dusty and a little glary. There's a Wolseley WD stationary engine. Sheep shearing. That used to be uh, sheep shearing equipment at one time. Birmingham, England. And I've been to Birmingham, England before. So there is the cup, but it wasn't this that made me say... Holy frig, I need that. This part was the part that made me think, holy frig, I need this. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. It's like a split part, split exploded view thing, you know. It shows you all the, everything, you know. Pretty sweet. I thought that was really cool. I need that. So I ordered one. Got one in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that, and I got one other thing to show you here. I was in Best Buy the other day, and I thought, well, you know what? I could probably use another one of these uh, backup hard drives. And I freaking looked, I'm like, holy crap, I didn't know they came that big. <laughs> Eight terabyte drive in there, holy frig. I haven't even opened her yet, I wanted to save her for you guys. So. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I got something else to show you too. I've been had these for a while. Seems like I lots to show you today, don't I? Okay. It's really heavy too, so I don't know. It must be like four drives in this one big thing. Dilly. This is for you from Alex. Came in the mail today. What is it? It's like a it's sort of a watch dewy. I think you push these buttons and then the bottom thing comes off maybe and it's like a little compartmenty thing. Hmm. And you put it put it around your, your wrist dewy. It might be a little big for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What do you say? Thank you. That's pretty cool, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, eight terabyte drive, this thing. It's freaking huge. I think the one I've got I'm using now is a two terabyte. It's actually 1.81 or something. Oh, cool. It feels kind of chintzy, like chintzy packagey kind of stuff, but it smells cool. Now, how do we get it open? <laughs> hmm. I just feel like there's a bunch of those clips. But anyways, that's that, and then it gives you the little cord, which I'll... Oh, of course, it's a different one. It's a different weird end. Look at that end. Holy... I don't got, haven't got one of those, so... And then a little power cord, so that's cool. Eight terabyte. Wow! That's insanely huge. Feels really heavy, too, so... And there's the reading materials. And this I've had a little while here, and we got it at a store we were at, and I'm like, oh, sweet, we need to get this. You know, it kind of fits my job here. Yeah, hang your coat on it. Yeah, not much to hang that by, but... Dead end. I got food. <laughs> and that's it. So that's cool. I'm going to put that somewhere to hang my coat. I think they were like eight bucks a piece or something. Galvanized, or not galvanized, uh, oh my goodness. Cat, cast, cast iron, holy crap, that's horrible, I couldn't even think of it. So that's kind of cool, dead end. They had other ones there too, I can't remember what they were now, but. Yeah, so that's cool. So that's pretty cool, uh, uh, I haven't hooked her up, of course, but give her a shot here. I'll actually look, yeah, there's that weird plug back there too. Wow, that's weird. But these are usually just kind of hook it up, plug it in, turn it on, which is, where is the Dewey to turn it on? Huh? Is it always on? No, come on now. There must be a pushy button somewhere. Well, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to have to read this. Hang on. Well, it never said anything in the manual of how to turn it on, so I'm just going to plug her into the thingy here and see what happens. If she starts, she starts. If it doesn't, I don't know. Here we go. Ready? I wonder if it's something to do with this other cord. If it's not plugged in, it doesn't actually work. I don't know. Could be. That's what she was. You gotta plug her in and then plug into the USB 3.0 port and away she goes. So there's actually no switch, which is kind of weird. I like the ones that you can turn on and off. But I guess if you unplug it, she'll shut off. That's 
kind of the way it's going to have to work. So anyways, that's about it for today. Uh, so check out those links in the bottom. And thanks, Alex, for sending the uh, package out. And hopefully you saw the video. I'm pretty sure you did. And then I'll put a title -y thing. Of course, you've probably seen that. And yeah, but anyways, uh, tomorrow, I don't know what we're doing. Probably not a whole lot because my bench is kind of covered in wet planks or wet uh, ramps right now. And they need to dry a couple of good few days. So uh, we'll maybe figure out something. But um, I want to kind of get some drilling maybe going on those uh, one-inch drills. I have to go down to Home Depot and get one of those... Um, ice chilled, ice hardened drill bits, uh, hole saw bits, they work pretty good, and go from there. So anyways, uh, that is it for today. You guys have a good day, and thanks again for watching, and we will catch you hopefully tomorrow.